Hello, I've participated in an Inktober challenge during October and uh, precisely Mewtober, so drawing cats every day for a month. I'm a bit sick of drawing cats, but let's see what I did. Here is the new sketchbook that I started for this challenge. The stickers are, this one is mine, these ones are from, from my friend Julia Martin and this one is from the printed cat. This is not uh, the normal sketchbook that I use. I usually use Stratmore, but I couldn't find it. Here are my Mewtober goals. The first one was to learn how to draw different types of cats. Uh, my personal goal was to use art supplies that I don't normally use and bonus points if I actually get rid of, of some of it. To challenge myself with free drawing because if I'm drawing pet portraits then I'll usually just copy the line work of the, the photo which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It adds to it being more realistic um, and yeah the last one is to have fun which I did. So the first prompt. Initially, I thought that I will do like one realistic, semi-realistic, <laughs> I know it's a bit wonky, but one realistic drawing or painting and one in my style. I've soon given up on that. I love this guy and this, I love this guy in reality. This is Picard, my companion, <laughs> my familiar. I draw this with free hands and um, so without any, I wasn't copying, this is like me just drawing. Um, I mean, I can see it's wonky, but it still looks a lot like him. I do recognize him, so um, that's fine. And also I've used gouache in this one, so that's a bonus point for me. This one, um, the prompt was Turkish Angora. I've used inks for this. And uh, okay, I like it. Uh, I used to draw like all the time with uh, inks, but I don't know, I just kind of grew out of it. Uh, this is the Chartreau, I'm going to say Chartreau cat. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. Uh, this is with gouache and inks, and yeah, by this, this one, so the second one that I did with gouache, I've discovered how much I hate gouache. Um, I don't know, I have the Himi gouache set and I don't know if that's only the problem with this set or if if I just don't like gouache. Yeah, uh, okay, so this is the only cover-up that I did. This is the Devon Rex cat. Um, I'm going to show you the original just to, you know, be perfectly honest with you. So, this is the original, it, I mean, to be fair, this cat does look like this in the picture. I don't think this one is like amazing, but I can live with this. And the Sphinx cat. So here I was still in the one realistic and one in my style. And like the way I wanted this spread to be was like when you're going through photo albums so you have like different periods and different ages of family in it so this one would be the modern cat like you know she has like this professionally done photo shoot and this would be her grandma or, or great grandma with the scarf and since i am slavic um the scarf is very much in our culture my great grandma used to wear one all the time, uh, I remember that. The Calico Cat. This one is my cat Milica and um, I'm amazed how well she turned out. She does look exactly like this. And what do you think about this one? So let's go on. I mean, I did practice different positions, so at least that. Um, the Siberian cat. I will try to find a reference photo for this one because uh, they look more or less like this and it's super funny. The Bengal cat. So this one, uh, the prompt was white cat and it's actually, I know I'm not crazy, too crazy about the cat, but I like the setting and I like the 
Olivia, my daughter, when she saw this one, she was like very sad. Oh, where's the Katie's grandma? Does she live with the grandma? With her grandma? Where is her grandma? No. Like, what grandma? This is the tabby cat and like funny, um, actually this, uh, the prompt was tiger. And like since um, we, in Croatian we call tabby cats like tiger looking cats. <laughs> so I was, oh yeah, you know, this is the tiger cat. Uh, the ragdoll. So here I went with my goal to use as much of the art supplies as I can, especially like the inks because I don't use them that often. And now the munchkin cat. I know he's super wonky. I just didn't have like the patience to do his head the justice he deserves, but I do think that I will just cover this piece um, this piece of the paper and like draw him a new head but not now uh, the Havana brown cat yeah I don't have anything to say oh yeah I did this is the yellowing and like you can see it's not yellow anymore because it's super old um, I did use that one completely so uh, okay and I did use the blue one completely so that's the only things that I did use completely and I'm super happy about it, at least something. And then the tiger, the actual tiger. Um, I love this one and I think that uh, this one is going to be a sticker. Um, let me know if you like that one as a sticker. The Scottish Fold. Um, so this one kind of embraces all the challenges that I set up for myself. Different positions, like what's this? But they do sit like that, so. And as well, I used gouache for this one. Siamese cat. This one, uh, I'm going to say tortoise shell, but I'm not sure how to pronounce this word. Um, this is actually my cat that died in 2017, Hana. Um, yeah, I I miss her and I won't really talk about her because I might cry and I don't want to cry in every video. So you know, the Persian cat, Abyssinian cat, maybe a bit wonky, but who cares? This one was Inventor Pattern and um, I went with the Chimera cat, like the two-faced cat. Um, I think they're super beautiful and actually I once saw one in real life and she was in the wild and I was like, oh my god, you have to come home with me. But she, she wasn't uh, used to humans and humans handling her, so um, obviously I didn't pursue that one. The Himalaya cat, Oriental cat. Oh yeah, I, I love love this spread. This is my favorite one. This is Color Point cat, and I used purple instead of blue because I usually use blue for shadows, and I think it goes so nice with this color. And I love her. I love love her, and I love the setting. Um, this is Tuxedo Cat. Oh yeah, and <laughs> now we're getting to the good ones. The Singapore Cat. And I actually hate it. Like, while I was drawing, in, drawing it, I was like, oh my god, like, why did I do this to myself? I hated her. And like, the moment that I started loving this spread was actually when I added stars in her eyes. I think this is uh, this, I don't know, maybe, I, I will say this one is my favorite. And um, the Cornish Rex cat, leopard, um, <laughs> they literally sit like this in the tree, so that's super funny. The Savannah cat, yeah, I'm not really sure what the Savannah cat is, I did some research, it's a mix between a serval and probably a domestic cat so it's half wild but like uh, I do think that they're 
there's more to it like I think this is the first generation and then you have the second generation so it depends like if the Cerro was a mother or father or if it was a grandfather or grandmother so um, I think that it depends on the size obviously if you have more servo the bigger the cat will be and yeah mm, the black cat and I wanted to make this one this is this is for Halloween this is the last prompt uh, I wanted to make this one look like the cat is possessed by the moon and like you see the the light coming through it a bit and reflecting off it and like the eyes are reflecting so they look possessed and yeah that one is the last one that's it thank you for watching i'm a bit fed up with drawing cats so i don't think that i'll draw them in the next month or so <laughs> i did this and i did the last spread for my last video it was also about cats and i did want to do this in your style this month and some um, collaboration that I have with um, Colorista so I did cats for them because you know I was drawing so many cats already so why not and yeah thank you for watching um, let me know if you participated in any October challenge and see you next Monday bye